I just got off a podcast with my buddy Bryce. He's my co-host and we're looking to upgrade his video quality. So I thought I'd make this video while I'm making something for him to show him how he can connect his iPhone, how you can connect that to your MacBook and use it not just for our show, Human Evolution Project, but another show, Invictus Mindset Podcast, which gets a lot of downloads. And so this is an easy way that you can upgrade your video quality dramatically and it just takes one piece of software, one app, and one cable. Oh, and one video, this one, just so you know what you're doing. Now, I'm gonna show you an example using my MacBook Pro. Um, so you have one end that is going to go into the MacBook, and then you've got one end that is going to go into the iPhone. So your iPhone and the cable, that's all you need from a hardware perspective. From a software standpoint, what you're gonna need is Camo. So on your phone, you have to have the app downloaded, an account created, and the app open in order for it to register that it's being worked as a webcam. Okay, so I've got the Camo app downloaded on my phone. It says not connected right now, which is totally normal. And then remember on your computer, what you're gonna download is the Camo Pro. So uh, when you go to reincubate.com forward slash Camo, you're gonna hit upgrade to Camo Pro. You'll see it's about five bucks a month. What's really awesome is they offer a couple other options. You can get a lifetime license for 80 bucks and never have to pay again. So um, something to consider there, but remember still way more affordable than buying a new webcam for $200 that then breaks down after six months, which is exactly what happened to me. At this point, you might be wondering where in the world am I gonna put my phone, right? So I like to get a, uh, whatever this thing is, it basically goes onto your monitor and my phone will grip right into here. Obviously it's not crazy stable. You can't be smashing away at your keyboard at the same time, but it does the trick. It's better than a tripod that's a little too high or a little too low. Um, and this costs maybe like seven bucks on Amazon. As you can see, as soon as the device has been connected to the laptop, it has popped up into camo uh, on my computer. So if you take a look at the screen, if I'm just pointing at the screen, you can see that I'm somewhat above eye level. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close to it. Um, I want to be kind of maybe in the center of the frame, so I can definitely turn this uh, this way here and it clicks over into place, which is a pretty cool uh, option. Now let's take a look at the app and some of the settings here. You're not really gonna mess with too much of this. The only thing to keep in mind is basic portrait is okay, but portrait is awesome because it gives you this uh, creamy bokeh-like effect. Let me switch over and now you can see in Zoom how the background is slightly blurred out, right? The candle, the pillow, things like that are slightly blurred out. It's not perfect. So if I move a little too fast, sometimes my hair is overly blurred out, but it's a really high quality bokeh effect that I found hard to get in a lot of other apps that are out there. You can obviously manually adjust this stuff if you want to, but I keep it on auto uh, and that's what I like. Zoom, I can do that. So that's, <laughs> okay, that's a little creepy. My dentist would appreciate it though. But you can zoom uh, in and out if you need to crop certain things out of it. Like let's say the trash can, I might be able to, you know, toy around by just pulling this over a little bit and now trash can is gone. So what I've done here is I've switched it to landscape mode. So I am getting that version I'll need for most podcast recordings and meetings and stuff. But at the same time, time what's happening is I get to see myself and I'm using the selfie camera. If we do look inside of the camo app though, I do think this camera is slightly lesser quality than when we flip it around and use the back facing one. But it's good to know that you have that option if you like to be able to see yourself and make sure there's no boogers or something like that. This is the Zoom app opened up. My iPhone is currently connected to the computer. I'm gonna show you both versions here as well so you get the high quality look from this point of view if I hit FaceTime from this point of view, it's gonna switch to my computer camera, which, oh man, that is so grainy. It's not very high quality. Uh, and as you can see, just from switching, I have an iPhone 12 mini. Uh, and so just by switching over to this, by hitting reincubate camo, there's all sorts of light adjustments and uh, color correction that it uh, automatically kind of does for you. So that's really nice. If you are using an app like Riverside or something like that, this still works. For the video source, you just have to choose Reincubate Camo. And as long as the software is open on your computer, 
and the app is open on your phone, uh, it should be connected and there should be no issues whatsoever. The part that's really nice is it's not saving anything onto your phone or taking up any additional memory beyond the app itself because you are using the camera as a streaming device, not necessarily using the actual camera feature to record and store footage. So if you've been wanting to upgrade your video setup and you don't wanna to spend too much, but you can swing maybe five bucks a month, you've already got an iPhone, you can maybe buy the tripod, that's really all you need to set up a very high quality video setup for uh, Zoom meetings, work conferences, video podcasts, you name it. If you have any other specific questions on how to operate this software, drop me a comment or reach out to Miz at podmahal.com and I'd love to help you out.